Hello, today's video is going to be a little bit different than usual. Today I'm going to be introducing you to my first ever editorial skin tone actions. While doing research on this topic, I realized that a majority of presets and actions are only designed to achieve a style for the overall image, while almost none focus primarily on skin tone. In genres of photography like beauty, the way the skin is represented is the most important part. So I wanted to create something that would be the best of both worlds beautiful skin tones with an overall editorial feel. Before I get into the details, I want to thank my very good friends Zach Sutton and Bryce Chapman for giving me the permission to use their images for demonstration. During the testing process, it was super crucial to me that these not only worked in my images but others as well across many camera types. So without further ado, let me introduce you to my very first six editorial skin tone actions. I'm going to start off by showing you what each of them look like on various images. The first action I want to demonstrate is natural. So I'm going to play the action. And once it's finished, I'm going to toggle the on and off so you can see the before and after. If you drop down this folder and open it up, you'll be able to see every layer that helped create this action. You are able to toggle each off to kind of see how the layer effect was built up. This also enables you to go back into any of these and make any minor changes you would like to the effect. Each action has a mask included. The reason this is is because I want you to be able to erase the effect on the areas that you don't want it on. So let's say on this image that you only wanted the effect on her skin but not on the background. So since this is a white mask I'm going to use a black brush to erase the effect on the background. I'm going to do this at 100% just so you can see how this works. So here's an example of what that would look like. So now if I toggle this on and off, it is only affecting her hair and skin. The next action I want to demonstrate is called simple. The next action I would like to show you is called simple warm. The next action I want to demonstrate is the saturated light. The next one I want to show you is the saturated dark. And the last one is called deep midtones. The next image I would like to demonstrate on is my very good friend Bryce Chapman. I love this beauty image very much. This was photographed in natural light. I'm going to go through every action and just show you what it looks like and toggle it on and off. This is an example of natural. Simple. Simple warm the saturated light the saturated dark and deep midtones. Now what's really cool about these is that they are able to be layered. So let's say 
you start off with deep midtones and you really enjoy deep midtones and you want to add saturated light on top this is the result we get so the effect is definitely going to be stronger but since every layer is able to be adjusted you can go in and toggle each effect off and see what you like and don't like now here's what it looks like with a deep mid-tones base and simple warm on top same thing you can go in get rid of certain ones add certain ones back in kind of see what you're into so the next image i want to demonstrate on is my very good friend zach sutton's love this photo so much i love the colors the composition the tight crop so i want to go here and just show you each action and what it looks like on this image Now that I've demonstrated each action on the images below, I want to show you what one action looks like on each of these images across. So the action I want to demonstrate first is natural. Next up, I want to show you simple. Simple warm. saturated light the saturated dark and deep midtones and that concludes the demonstration on my editorial skin tone actions to purchase these you can follow the link in the description below if you liked what you saw here please subscribe and like Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.